Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with something different for you all. Yeah. Listen, we have fell in this rabbit hole <laughs> of this Netflix series called Lupine. Lupine. And listen, at first I was not interested in watching it at all. My friends have been on me for like two weeks. They was like, listen, we even <laughs> set up a group Zoom meeting so that we can watch it all together and talk about it. And, and we, we never, never got it, it never nope. got into it at all. But so last night my husband was like, cause him and the fellas yeah, got on Zoom and yeah. they watched it together. He was yep. like, like Thursday, you need to watch this. And I was just not interested. Like he was telling me about it and I was like, no. Yeah. Then last night I sat in the recliner and I just was like, okay, I'm gonna appease my <laughs> husband and watch one episode. And fell in love. And one and episode turned into watching the whole freaking series, season, yeah. the season series <laughs> of Lupin. Yeah. We just gonna have a good conversation about it. We're not gonna talk about everything. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna give you all the details because that's for you to see. We just yeah. gonna give you a little I, bit of our opinion. So yeah, y'all, I wanna start off by first saying this was a really, really good show. I mean, all five episodes kept us captivated the whole time. Cause when, when me and my boys watched it, we watched it all the way through. I thought we were gonna watch a couple of episodes cause it was a Thursday night. Yeah. And we had to go to work the next day. So we was up to about after 11 watching this. And we started that around like- good. Yeah. We started watching around six, but yeah, it's it, it's a very interesting storyline. Um, pretty much what is about this guy named Asin Lupin, and I guess that's his real name. And when you watch the show, you, you go, will see why we said that. <laughs> you, you're gonna say the same thing, but pretty much the whole episode is about him trying to find out why his father committed suicide in prison. So to kind of get a, you know, kind of a little backstory on that, his father used to work for this family by the name of the Pellegrinos. So they was very rich and prestigious. Everybody knew them in the town. It's almost like the Baxters on um, Your Honor. Yeah. So the show starts off where it appears that he's committing a crime of trying to steal this particular queen's necklace that this particular family said what happened was that this Nicholas got took apart and it was shipped all around the world. Yeah, the jewels then, were then, scattered yes, around. Yes, jewels scattered around. And all of a sudden it came back together. Now they want to auction off this guy Don Nicholas. But the guy that's seen Lupin actually got a job. I, I, I think it's a hotel. No, was it's it a, a museum. It's a museum, yeah. The museum at the museum. So he... He was very clever. So he got That's up with this. <laughs> he got up with these these group of guys that you guys are gonna see when you watch it. That some kind of way he was gonna be making some money with them, and he didn't have the money, so they wanted to kill him. But he actually pulled them in to help him steal the, the queen's, queen's necklace. necklace. And uh, and what you would see, but pretty much the plan was to break in. Well, not necessarily break in because at the museum he said. The rich people look at don't look at us janitors. So they up here, we down here. There's no cameras. The only thing they check is what you bringing in and out. But if you got trash or something like that, they don't, and scan, they don't, they don't scan any of that stuff. And I was like, really? And they don't use the same <laughs> elevators as everyone else. They yeah. have their own hallways. So like yeah. you said, the janitors are invisible. Exactly. So anything that goes down, you can do it as long as you are a janitor. Exactly. Follow the steps of a janitor, you can get away with anything. So... It's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, and so when he gave him the plan because they was gonna kill him because he came back and he was like, I don't have the money. That he was like, I don't have the money, but I gotta wait for us to get rich. So he gave him that, gave them that plan. They got in, uh, to make a long story short, which y'all gonna see when y'all watch it, that when they went to steal it, it appeared that the plan got effed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it appeared that the plan got effed up and the guys that he was working with end up getting locked up. And I was like, okay, y'all went through all of that because the guy that was a getaway driver, it's gonna be so funny, the guy that was a getaway driver played a bunch of video games <laughs> of being a getaway driver. So I guess he figured that he could do that in real life and it just didn't pan out that yeah, way with y'all. Yeah, just driving through the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, ended up driving through the ceiling of the museum, which you are gonna be like, how in the hell did he do that? You which, you go, which you're gonna see that, but in this in this one I'm talking about, chapter, this is chapter one. And so after all said and done, I was like, okay, they done F this up. Those guys got locked up. Lupin actually got away because he was, because in he the plan, the buyer. yeah, in the plan, he was the buyer. 
in the plan and the guys was the janitors to kind of to steal the goddamn king's uh the not king the queen's, the queen's necklace. necklace so after all that happened at, at and y'all gonna see this to the end of every episode they're gonna turn around and show you the maneuvers and the cleverness of of him of Lupin. um oh, but to, clever. <laughs> but to give you a further backstory to 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 get you to where we are now is that the reason why he got these skills because when his father was working with the Pellegrinos, he was in the office one day and he was cleaning the bookshelf and the daddy, um, which I don't remember his name, but it came in there, was like, ain't you got something else bad to do? And pretty much kicked him out. And so what, what happened was the Queen's necklace that was in the safe, they accused him, the father, Lupin's father, of doing it. So that's how he ended up in prison because they accused him of that. But the wife knew the truth. And so when the police came in to pick him up, the father, he was like, come on, you, 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 you already know, know you know, you know me, you know I didn't do this. So that's how he ended up in, uh, ended up in prison. But when he was in the room one day with the, with the wife, the wife was like, pick any book you want for your son. And so she picked the book um, called, I think it's A Scene Lupin was the name of the book. I could have it wrong, but Lupin is the name Lupin. of the book. Yeah, it's the name of the book. So that's at a young age, that's when he started reading the book about oh being a gentleman God. burglar. Get that? A gentleman burglar. And as you continue to watch the show, you're going to be like, you know what? I need to find that book. <laughs> <laughs> so in chapter one, because he read that book, what ended up happening when they were stealing the, the, the Queen's necklace, the guys had went had got the Nicholas, so they thought, but they actually had a fake copy because one of his good friends that he met while he was in private school, which is a whole nother story, yeah, uh, actually knew how to make that kind of stuff. So he made him a replica of the Nicholas. And so when they was getting ready to steal it, the guys thought they had the real thing, but they had the fake one. But he had the—he took the real one, as you're gonna see, and put it in a goddamn trash he can. Threw it up in the <laughs> trash can, so that later on a janitor, a janitor, which was himself, came back and dumped the trash. And dumped the trash, and how? And because they would check the trash when you go out, they just check it. When he went to check it, he what he did was put dirty diapers. He put dirty diapers in it, so when they checked the goddamn, like, no. they were like, oh, take that up out of here. And then he just reached in there, got the necklace, and went on about his and business. And went on about his business. And I said, all that from that book? All of you, that from you, that book. You learned that from that book? He <laughs> learned how to change his um his net worth. Yep. He had a whole profile yep. on himself because as soon as he, he's the only black person in the auction. Yep. And he is the highest bidder. And of course, before he they took any of his bids seriously, which pissed me off. They looked him up to see who he was. And when they looked him up, they saw his net worth. And it was like, oh, okay. So he really can be it on this necklace. Like he ain't yeah. in here just bullskit. Exactly. But he had created his own um his own profile. Y'all know how you can go out there and create yeah. your own profile and, and buck up your net worth. Yeah. And that's what he did. <clears throat> so he made his net worth like over five hundred million dollars. Yeah. So it was no thinking <laughs> that he could afford this necklace. So when it came time to, like my husband said, seal the deal of buying this necklace. That's when the transition happened. happened. Yep. I, I was said, like, God don't boy. And he's doing all of this step by step. Yep. From this book. Yeah. And I'm sitting here like, whoa. Yeah. And then, you know, cause that's kind of was the, the long short of kind of the setup. And I was like, okay, is this thing really gonna be about this dude just going around just stealing? But like I told y'all, the whole thing is about him trying to solve the death of his father because they wanted to, it to stick that he just committed suicide in prison because what happened was uh the mom or the pellegrino mom. yeah the pellegrino mom convinced him to sign a letter of confession so that he could get out of prison early so he signed a letter to um signed a letter saying that and he had a letter to lupon his son saying that pretty much I'm not the man that you thought I was. But you know, I am guilty. But, but I am guilty of that. But the whole time I was like, because when you see the father, you're going to be like, that's not him. That's not him because you're going to see a scene that one time that when uh, the the lady Pellegrino had um, broke down in the rain, he was willing to help her out in the rain. And I mean, you could see it. it, it there that was no trait. That was yeah, definitely not his, his character. And come to find out, 
that over those years, she had been real guilty because, well, her conscience was messing with her. And made her sick. That made her sick. And also, she was supporting, as you guys gonna find out, Lupin's, well, the father's son was just Lupin. But she was doing it from a distance, but that's that's gonna come so later. That's on. how we ended up in private school and yeah. being able to have this this sense of finesse. Exactly. Like he had he when you watch him move, you be like, where did he learn how like to move. be like yeah. that? Yeah. And it was because she paid for his education to go yep. to this really prestigious um private school. Yeah. And he was rubbing shoulders with those that had money. Mm -hmm. So he knew how to act, he knew where to go. And I was like, yeah. It was it was good, y'all. Yeah, so he, you know, continued to do all that. And uh in episodes chapter one, two, three, four, and to the rest of the five, just to speed things up, it was still him going through, still trying to figure out his father's murder. And this is suicide. the part the suicide. This and this is was the real turning point because in one of the chapters he actually went to prison and he swapped out a person that was getting ready to be checked in and checked himself in because it was a guy in their name comment that he had needed to talk to to get the I would say the final piece to really kind of solidify that his father really didn't kill himself. Mm -hmm. I mean his father his but, father killed himself but his father didn't steal a necklace. That's yeah. that was the the whole point. So he got in and y'all gonna see that which was kind of crazy how they did. I was like yeah. I was like, how like the heck? He knew how to yeah. slip his hands into to the his cuffs into and his cuffs, cuffs, and it, it was a lot. <laughs> I was like, mm. yeah. And so when he got into prison, that particular guy had a book that he had got from his father. So he that that guy in prison only met his father once, and his father said, "It's gonna be somebody that's gonna come one day looking for some information, and I want you to give, give him them this, this book." book. And in the book, I don't know what he was using. I think it was Coca-Cola or, or something. something, but it was stained. Yeah, but he stained the spots in the book and he put tabs. So when Lupin finds the book, when he get into prison, which I don't know how he knew he was going to end up in prison. Because he already book. gave him the book. Yeah. That gave him the <laughs> blueprint of yeah. how to find out what had happened to yeah. him. So <laughs> he knew that any, even in his death, his son was going to come and find yeah. out what happened to him. So he took the book, <laughs> and like my husband said, and he would like Coca-Cola stain yeah. words that he wanted his son to read. And every word was, it reminded me of, what was it like, waiting to exhale? When the person would cut out letters. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and do messages. It reminded me of that, but it was, so the would be stained. Yeah. Woman would be stained. Yeah. The. So the father confessed what happened to him. Yeah. The, the, put him up to Pellegrino's the one that set him up. Yeah. Yeah, they they uh they set him up so and he couldn't take the pressure of being in prison <clears throat> exactly. for something he didn't do so he decided to release himself and he killed himself. Yep. And so after and so after that, so once he really found out that information, so that's when he started going and dealing with individuals specific. And one in specific was this um, detective by the name of Dumont. Is it Dumont or Dupont? Dumont. I think it was Dumont. Yeah, because he was the lead detective on the guy doing case, and so. He put a squeeze on him. He kidnapped him, and it was and it was so funny how he kidnapped him, because he at, when he kidnapped the um the uh, detective, which now he's commissioner. He kidnapped. He acted like he was an IT guy. Oh, he had it. <laughs> he had the mannerism, the walk, and everything. So if you if you IT on here, no offense, y'all have a look, a walk, y'all do things a specific way. We know when you at the IT? job if you IT. That's all we gotta say. <laughs> and he had it down to a T. So he uh he he kidnapped the commissioner and how he did that <laughs> he so. he was like you got porn on your on, <laughs> on your computer and it because of scene and yeah yeah y'all can see I want some porn yeah I want you to look at it. he said do, do you want me to really to erase your porn or not yeah so they got him he had held him hostage for four hours and pretty much what happened was the commissioner ended up saying that. I had to do what I had to do. I did this for my son, which was which was BS. Yeah. Um, but pretty much the, the the whole thing was the Pellegrinos was powerful enough to put the squeeze on him. On him. <laughs> yeah. Which so, made him turn dirty. Yeah. Which made him turn dirty to, to go kinda, in cahoosion. Yeah. To cover it up. To cover it up mm -hmm. and to make your father be the guilty party of what the bigger picture was. Yes. Yes. Because all of this, I was like, all of this for just. Because y'all wanted a necklace stolen, yeah. it didn't make sense until yeah. we realized 
why they, why they wanted the it. The necklace stolen. And that was my next point I was leading to. Mm. So what snowballed all of this was that the Pellegrino's business was about to go down. And what they did was they put a higher insurance policy on the necklace. So the whole plan was, and what you're going to see the daughter's going to talk about it in the show was, my father's plan was, was to, um, to make up this story <laughs> about the necklace about being spread it around so we can create a higher buzz so when the auction come it will sell for more money because so, even um lupin's friend the guy that did the replica <clears throat> necklace when he looked at the original necklace he said this necklace has never, never been, been taken, taken apart. apart yeah and he said so if this part is a lie what else is a lie yeah because <clears throat> he was like look at it it's never been taken apart yeah he was like really yep yeah and so, as you can see, as you start watching, that he he still would run into roadblocks of really proving that they did it. But somebody, I can't remember who the person was, was like, you need to look up this lady. Dumont? Um, yeah, Dumont. Yeah, look up this lady. But Dumont that, said, I, you didn't get it from me. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Like, this is the person that could take this down lady was a She used to be a, a, famous, uh, a famous writer. Mm -hmm. And she was she was about to take them down. And how powerful they was, they actually ended her career, that she became a hoarder. <laughs> uh, I mean, she had all kind of skid in that house. Yeah, really poor. Yes. Yeah. So he approached her about helping him. And at first she didn't want to, she didn't want to do it. It's like, no. Nah. But she changed her mind, so she was working with them. I like how she said it, though. She said, I think the one thing that they did, and they did incorrectly, was they made me hit rock bottom. Yeah. I have nothing to lose right nothing now. Nothing to lose. Yeah. She said, so, if they take me down again, they get nothing. So right. she said, I'll help you, because I don't have anything to lose. Exactly. I said, I, said, I like how you think. <laughs> so, she had this tape. I guess used to be in her office. In her office where she used to work. But she can't get in there. Yeah, anymore. so he worked the scheme of getting in there, which I was see. She class. actually worked yeah, that scheme. Yeah, she worked that out. Yeah, but he had to, he still had to do his magic to to kind of make it happen. But he got it. But on this tape was the Pellegrino, the dad, actually selling illegal firearms to another group. From and, another country. From another country. So it was like, if we can get this out here. This right here could take them down. So what the the thing was to do was we're gonna post this on Twitter and give him 24 hours to respond. So they posted on Twitter, and what ended up happening was the Pellegrino dad was like, "If you so big and bad, come out of the shadows. You know, don't be no, you know, like we say the Twitter thugs. Don't be just posting and hiding your hand." So Lupin is cleverness. He he dressed up and went on the news <laughs> as so an they, old man. As an old man, so they can show this tape to the world to take him down. But guess what? By the time they showed the tape, they had edited it and chopped it up where it didn't look like he was selling them guns. He looked like he was declining the yeah, offer to, to sell, sell them guns. guns. Yeah. And I said, I said ooh, yeah. not good. <laughs> and with that, that actually caused a major setback. And that actually caused the life of the journalist. Yeah, the the journalist. So at this point, he feeling real bad because he was like, "I brought her into this. I wish I did." Dead. She didn't dead, and she had she had this dog. I dead. awesome. He was every time you mention Pellegrino, he her <laughs> Pellegrino her. So that's how much she programmed him to hate them. That's how much she hated him. And I was like, "Dang, we gonna end like this?" Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna talk about this last piece. And I don't want to tell y'all the whole entire thing because I really want you to watch it. So. Pretty much where it left us at is it's now his son's birthday. Yeah, I agree. Say we. <clears throat> yeah. He's doing all of this and he has a whole family. Yeah, he has that a whole he family, whole wife and kids. To that try he's to solve neglecting this. to yeah. solve this. And the thing about it, his wife doesn't even know what he's doing. Yeah. Like she doesn't know what he does all day. Yep. All she knows is that at some point he shows up. Yep. And when he doesn't show up. He he's clever enough to make up something and make her just shut up for the moment. Yep. But she said I, she went to therapy and she's like, I don't know what it is that he does. Yep. She don't know. And I don't know what <laughs> what old he has on me. Yep. <laughs> and she, they met at the private school. Yep. So they've known each other their almost their entire, entire life. Entire life. Yep. So it yeah. Yeah. So we now is we at the point where it's a son's birthday that he barely made it to because that he forgot that he forgot because he's so invested in solving his father's case. Which I understand. I, I totally understand. 
and uh they uh went to another place in paris i can't remember the name of the place that they, they went had to, to catch a train yeah but they had to catch a train and of course since everything is so hot now one of the pellegrino guys That's that so he should have thrown as you see it should have thrown his off, tail the, off train. the train but he didn't he locked them into a room and right into a room but to make a long story short that when they got off at the destination that guy got locked up um because Lupin. he had lipon had sent a text to the police because that particular guy that we're talking about was the guy that he switched out in prison that he told that you better not do nothing stupid because i know how to put you because i know in. how i got you out i know how to get you back in so he texts the police officer so when they got off the train they came and locked him up but of course, when he got to the, the station, which we didn't talk about the lineup of them, the sketches of him and all that stuff, you can see that when you um looking at it, because they they on to him, but they not on to him. Because he can change his identity. Oh, he can like change, that. change his identity. He looks stuff. the same, but he looks different with yeah. everything he does. Because they have like six or seven different pictures, you know. And they're all like, yeah. you know. <laughs> and you're gonna see like from that book, that was one of the the geniuses of the gentleman burglars changing their identity, never the same. Like a chameleon, change colors to fit but, the environment. We will have to say this part. There is one detective that is on the case that yeah. had been figured this out. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But no one wanted to listen to him because he it, said there was a book that I read yeah, a long time book. ago. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like all of these crimes are being uh, are following the blueprint of this, this book. book. And yeah. everybody was like, dude, so if yeah. you want to solve the, <laughs> the Harry Potter crimes, yeah, you know, you let me know. <laughs> so he became like this person that, okay, I'm going to keep working on this in secret, yeah. but I'm not going to tell nobody until I feel like I really have it down pat because yeah. they keep laughing at me. Yeah. So that's the guy to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and so at the end, so when that guy got locked up from off the train, he got he ended up getting released because he did not match any of the pictures, which we knew that. But they didn't so, run him because they yeah. would have known that he belonged in prison anyway. Exactly. So by the time they got so, so by the time he got there, he got back time enough to where they were and they stole the son. He Getting stole the, the son. And so that's where they left us off at. So they're so supposed the to be Pellegrinos a, have Lupin's son. Yes. But let me go ahead and tell you this part. Lupin's son is an avid reader. Yeah, just of like the, the his book. Father yeah. is because he gave him the book. He gave him that book. Yep. So now you don't kidnap the son that know those that know that those know principles, it. man. <laughs> and if you and when you watch this, you'll realize that the mom has been on the son's case about being a normal teenager. It's yep. like all you do is read that book over and over, over, and, and, over and over and over. So yep. he's just like his father. He's read that book several several times. Yep. So I'm so curious to see. And season, what is it going to be, season two? I guess it'll be season two, a part two, whatever. How the sun... It's going to navigate this. It's going to navigate this yeah. too. Yeah, Because now you, 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 you're dealing with Lupin 2.0 now. Yeah. So, I yeah, I recommend, yeah. So, uh, watch this, man. It's good. I'm it, telling you, it's, it's good. good. I, yeah, I can't wait to part two, but that's it. Because I didn't want to tell y'all everything. Just give you enough just to wet your whistle to hopefully mm -hmm. convince you to go All watch this. it. Because they wanted to collect some insurance, insurance money. Insurance money, yeah. For so, this dead on Oakland Because necklace. your business going on the ground. You want to do that. For this class jewels necklace. Because exactly. that's what it looked like <laughs> when you was back in high school going to prom and you go to class and get that set for $10. That's exactly yep. what that necklace looked like. But that's it, y'all. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty. So, two up, two, two down. down. Holla.